For me, hair everywhere, it means endless possibilities. It's a combination of emotion, places, styles, history. It encapsulates a bit of everything, which allows hair artists to create freely and not to be conditioned by anything and anybody. Beauty, most often, is fine in places where you will never find. And it's only through curiosity that you can actually find them. So one of the biggest advantages that my nature personally has given me is that I'm a very curious person. My curiosity is taking me to places where I wouldn't have been without it. I think that's the secret. The rail yard, I wanted to create something that is slightly punkish. Punkish means daring and doing something that she wants to be different from other people. So I wanted to create some new texture that is a combination between matte and dry, shine and matte, soft and hard, you know, black and white. There is so many things that don't like each other and they don't go with each other. And I think that is what makes it. We have created this beautiful knitted hair piece. It just already looks beautiful by itself. So we're going to position this just right behind this braid and we can actually now shape in any forms or shape, you know, in any way we want. And all these baby hair, you just massage them and you're going to blend them in with the rest. Most of all, what is important is the character, the mold that they have chosen for that. She suits that look because she's slightly punkish and, you know, she loves that kind of life in general. So we're just going to put some dry shampoo and this will really blend the texture beautifully. We're going to use a little bit of a big finish. What I love about this look is it looks a bit more couture, more extreme. And I, I think that's fun for us hairdressers. I was born 20 minutes away from the sea. I never wore shoes when I was little. I was just walking on the beach and you know, just be free like that. And I always had this relationship with nature where you really absorb it. You just become like a sponge and you absorb all your surroundings. But you don't know it. You're not very conscious of it. But they're always there, you know, they're always recorded in your, in your mind. So working on a beach, and doing hair on the beach it would be a sensation that you know you will never experience in other ways or in a salon because you are free in the middle of the nature basically. We're going to twist the hair around then we release the brush keep the hair in the hands and squeeze it very tight until you feel that it's getting that kind of beach look effect and then we're going to dry with the diffuser. So I wanted to create looks that are created with this amazing technique that is called flocking Flocking is used for interior design, but you know, we use hairspray instead of glue or any toxic stuff, which is quite reasonable, easy to wash out. And it just creates this beautiful effect that looks like grabbed some algae from the sea, you know, like it has got these beautiful colors and stuff. The idea is also that the girl should look like she's just come out of the water, you know, with the wet look and stuff. It's a bit more surrealistic. There is, a, there is an area there where you look at this, ah, that is different. What is that? And it's because we had a, a different dimension. It's called the three dimension of looks. So that's the difference.
the last year we have experienced some crazy times. It's not been easy for everybody. So what we have done is we have thought, what about if nature takes over? And nature does take over <laughs> when we don't try to always control it. So imagine an old building that just having a window broken and all of a sudden, you know, pollen walked in and, and it started to grow plants inside, which is really romantic thought, I think, because nature was there before the house. <laughs> so I wanted to let that happen, just natural, and just shoot, you know, two beautiful models. And there I wanted to create more with textures and create some really beautiful graphic shapes, you know, almost uh, it's between architecture, textile and design that is part of that environment with the same conditions and feeling and it looks really interesting to me. Wearable, no wearable, it doesn't matter. For me, my motivation is just to create stuff that I haven't seen before and I absolutely love that idea. I always loved the idea of futurism, you know, and I love graphic, I love colors, and uh, I like psychedelic stuff just because it's out of the norm. So I wanted to transport my mind into a different direction, creating hair that looks a bit like laser beams, just by, you know, grabbing some strands of hair and tying them in a certain way. I just want to show you the technique. As I go along, I take small bits and I take them out and leave them out and then keep braiding. It's like when they braid horses. And then at the end, you just put an elastic. So what we've done, we have colored those strands and they look just really beautiful. One of the most important things in my career is always been about don't get upset if you make a mistake. Lots of people are scared of making mistakes. But for me, making a mistake means that you're actually going into a new territory where you haven't been before. But from that, then you're gonna build a city on it. You know, you can build something on top of a mistake. But if you don't have a mistake as a foundation, what are you gonna build on top? Nothing. For me, it's always about breaking the rules. Now you can really see the power of a lumen here. It really stands out as a color. I absolutely love this. I would like for people to go away and just have maybe one good idea that they like and I would be happy. Sometimes one idea has changed my life because an idea you can turn into a completely new concept. You can always take it to another level. Hopefully it will capture your imagination and you can create amazing stuff out of this and take it further because this is what it's all about for me.